Welcome to Root Beer Circus. This is another bedtime review. Bedtime. It's like 1 a.m. No. Yeah. Yeah, it is. 102. Um, My name's Steve. This is... Oh, I'm Sammy. Hi. This is Chubb. What's up, Chubb? Uh, so we just saw a spooky film. What did we see? Us. Us. U.S. Jordan Peele. Let um, me tell you, Get Out was really great, so it's one of those, like, is he still going to be great? Is it still... And, uh, I mean, the answer is a resounding fuck yeah. Yeah, it was really, really good. Great movie. Um, I loved the soundtracks. What, what were our positives that we've recapped? The soundtrack was dope. The score, you mean? What's, what's the difference? <laughs> the soundtrack's like songs that were played, and then the, the score is like the music. Alright, well then a combination of both, because they played... Fuck the police and some violins. <laughs> <laughs> um, <coughs> I just want to say this. The music. Jordan Peele, I said this right as we walked out. He's the new Alfred Hitchcock. He's the Alfred Hitchcock of our generation, really. Um, Who would have thunk it? I mean, he's just making really good... And it's definitely horror. You know, it's not... Oh, yeah, no question. It's, it's not, not like a it's dark not, comedy. It's a yeah. scary film. However... Speaking of comedy, there was some great comedy in the film. And People not, were laughing out loud, even. Very loud. Um, not even necessarily, like, comic relief, but there was just some genuinely placed, like, conversational comedy that just fit really well. Yeah. It just fit. Like, it felt like that's really what someone would say. Right. Yeah. Right. Like, there's a couple things where the family's interacting with each other, and I'm just like, yeah, that's how I talk to my dad in an emergency. I, Yeah. So this is the spoiler-free section, and then we'll talk about spoilers. But overall, you love the movie, yeah? Yeah, I was a big fan. I was too. Um, the there was a lot of cool cinematography. Like there are some mm. scenes, some scenes like reminiscent of Get Out, and you're like, oh, this is definitely a Jordan Peele film. Yeah. But other ones that were just shot so well. Like I was watching the movie, and I was like, someone is so proud of the way this shot right here came out, and I yeah. noticed. So you guy, or girl, or <laughs> Goat, I don't know, I don't know. Gender science neutral. is science is wild. Um, um, this movie taught me, but yeah, hell yeah, on the cinematography. Um, main actress, what's her name again? Lupita Nyong'o. She killed it, like crushed it. If like, she doesn't get a nod for this movie, and I know the Academy usually just like doesn't do shit for horror, but I mean, Get Out did win what? Uh, didn't Get something. Out win something? It there got like something. a it got a, a best screenplay, I think, Oscar. So. No, I think Spike Lee won the best screenplay Oscar. Maybe that was the year before. Yeah, it was the year, year before. Get Out came like two years ago. Anyway. Anyway. Because um, Jordan Peele has an Oscar for Get Out, yeah. for writing it. But pretty much, so quick synopsis of the movie. Yeah. Spoiler-free synopsis. Spoiler-free. Casual family hanging out. Yeah. They, you zoom in on this girl on her birthday, hanging with her family, just being young and quiet and observing everything. And then she goes into, like, a fun house and something weird happens and it affects her for the rest of her life. And she just thinks about it and mm -hmm. her reflection down there and all this stuff. And then... Like, is it a spoiler if I say what happened? And yeah, we don't say that yet. We say that during the spoiler section. I don't know if it's a spoiler to saying, like, the synopsis. No, that's, 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 like a good, that's a good spoiler for your synopsis. That's all you have to really say. No, it's yeah, not. Yeah, yeah, because what ends up happening, spoiler-free, is... Some things happen to this family that uh, are very, very strange, and you're trying, you're in your head trying to piece it all together with the information they've given you. And uh, you know, for me, it was very engaging. I, yeah. I wanted to see what happened next. I also, in my own head, started to like go, "Oh, well, this is just a movie about like a home invasion." But then it's like, no, it actually it sure goes not. into other places. So now we'll talk about spoilers. <laughs> 
right here, the spoil section. Now we spoil the movie. So if you didn't see the movie, go away. By what is this like, baby boy? I don't know. Hat? I don't know. I just this is like when you, you know have what a, it is? a fresh. Okay, I put it here. Look how much dark. Look at the shadow. Why are you wearing wanna... a hat in bed? This is bedtime. I, just, I love this hat. I found it. Uh, it's I know, called the Kiwanis Club of Greater Lawrence. I watched you find it today and put it on and <laughs> feel like a new person and walk out of the room all silently. I watched it happen. <laughs> That's how I do it. That's how I live. <laughs> All right, um, so spoilers. Dude, everyone has a clone, and the clones are coming to kill you. Yeah, and they all Your live. Your clone wants you dead. Once you're dead, they all just hold hands across the world. I'm not fucking with you. Yeah. And it is creepy, even though that sounds a little weird. Yeah. It's creepy, and it's... Ugh. So what's also cool about this movie is that, and we were saying this in the car on the ride home, the actors that play the normal people also have to play their screwed-up versions, like their mm -hmm. clones. And Tim Hyde... My face Tim like Heidecker... Yeah. Yeah, he was in it. Uh, the guy, that, the lady that plays his wife was phenomenal. So that's like another family that's in the movie that just gets murked. And you're like, oh, there's more than just this right. one family. Right, it's not just, clones. yeah. And they, you know, right in the beginning of the movie, they allude, they allude to something's, you know, something's weird with the sewers below the United States. Like something's, some people don't even know what's going there's on. There's underground there. tunnels for just bullshit that they don't use anymore, like yeah. coal mines and subways and blah, blah, blah. Well, the government clones everyone as mm -hmm. they're, like, born. Maybe they could disguise it as a genetic test. I don't know. There's a lot of ways they could do it. And so everyone has a clone like downstairs. <laughs> everyone has a clone downstairs. And the little girl, when she went into the funhouse, saw her clone, and it fucked her up. And she just, like, was always afraid of this, like, girl coming to get her. Well, well, they sure did. Yeah. And they came in a blazing with some, pss, pss, some stabby knives. Yeah. Um, they're called scissors. <laughs> <laughs> Very long scissors, I will say. Well, Stabby scissors. Yeah, they all had jumpsuits on. They had they had a crazy vibe. The government forgot about them down there, so they all lost their minds and ate raw rabbit. Raw rabbits. There's a lot of cool like symbolism. Raw rabbit. That's a good band name. Write it down. You're welcome. You that's got a, it. That's a free one Freebie. on Chubb. Um, but yeah, overall, you're just like it, and you're going through this emotional roller coaster with what's her name? No. Lupita. Lupita. What's her last name? Yango. Yango, and. Chub, chill out. <laughs> He's and then, listening to and then, uh, and, uh, and then even towards the very end of the movie, they kind of reveal that the the normal chick was actually a No, clone. that's too much. That's a, This is what we do in spoilers. We talk about the whole movie. That's why if people didn't see it, they don't watch this section. That's a spoiler. I'm sorry, folks. I'm just trying to explain <laughs> to her what, how to do a review, so... Dude, you're a fuck. <laughs> you know what? Here's a spoiler. You're an anus. Hey, don't say that word. They said that in the movie. So, what's your review? How many, from 1 to 10, how many Lopitas do you give this? Oh, well, can I trade... I just have a question about the whole process. What? Can if, Like, when you're annoying me, like, right now, Yeah. can I trade you for Sewer Steve for a little while? Yeah. Yeah, so hold on. They didn't talk. The clones didn't doggy. That was no. So they cool. just kind of no. Now I'm like out of the shot. It was creepy. All right. What do you score? Ah, uh, dude. I feel like all my scores have been really high. I've seen some. Put your score right good here. Good movies. Right here on the screen. Um, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna, right. I'm gonna give it an an eleven, eleven. No, no, no. You're One out of ten. Come on. Eight, three. I'm gonna. All right. I'm gonna go higher than that. I want to say 8.7. I really like this movie. Yeah. I think that uh, people are going to talk. It's going to. It's the next Get Out, and you know, it's it's. But it's different. It's different, and thing. and I think it's a little better, honestly. I you know I kind of agree. Yeah. I agree because this had like the the gore, and it wasn't even like the movies where you're just squirming like the whole time. It had like the bloodshed that you're looking for in a horror movie. Yeah. Yeah. So that's our bedtime review. Um, 20, you didn't, oh yeah, you did score it. Yeah. Um, Lupita's voice as the bad mom was the best part of the film. It was yeah. the most horrifying thing I've ever heard in my life. It was. It really was. When she started talking, I, my butthole was like, beep, bye-bye. Mine, I don't have a butthole anymore. Yeah, goodbye. It just sucked the, in on itself. Just a, it's just a Ken Barbie doll, but. Yeah. 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 Well, So thanks. we're gonna go figure out how to poop. Yeah. Um, thanks again for watching our bedtime review. Uh, we are Root Bear Circus. We have a podcast on iTunes. And you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel here. 
and give us a like and give us a comment. And if you subscribe to us, we'll subscribe to you. How about that? Because we're all clones here. We're all clones just trying to get up to the top. Thanks again for watching, guys. I love you. Mwah.